and the doctor preload, I tried to set up a, a Taiwan criteria. The first, paritas. The dog must be paritas. And the bilateral lesions of the plantar surface of the interdigital species, space of the front part. Yeah, I always see this lesion. On the side between six months and the three years, I always saw this. But in Taiwan, I found the Shizu, the onset of the disease very late. So most of the Shizu onset the region is over five years old. I don't know how the situation in India, but Shizu is late. And the peribocal erysema, or erysemas of the medial surface of the pinna. Yeah, I always see those lesion. And it is, I don't see many, less than 10% of my case reveal those kinds of lesions. So I take off this criteria. Recurrent, sorry, recurrent dermatitis for greater than two years, but we must care for it. We need to make a, a, a very good definition. What is recurrent pyoderma or recurrent dermatitis? Should I say? <laughs> okay. For if we, we are facing on a pyoderma, we, must, we need to know it is a recurrent pyoderma or it is distant cured or it is another, another onset. If we treat the pyoderma for four, four weeks and the lesion disappear, we need to add two more weeks antibiotic therapy. So totally therapeutic period is six weeks. Then if the dog recurrent within, after the six week, then we say we didn't cure the dog's pyoderma. If the dog onset after this, the six week is good, after the six week, then we say it is a recurrent. Recurrent pyoderma means we, we haven't found some underlying cause make the dog easy get pyoderma, but not related with our fault. We didn't cure correctly. We, we use our wrong antibiotics or we didn't educate people, the owner we should have a longer antibiotic therapy. But if the dog recur, uh, onset an, another pyoderma after a few months, that means the dog has another infection, reinfection, but is not recurrent or is not didn't cured. Okay. So we must make a very careful definition what is recurrent. Okay. A breed predilection, yes. In Taiwan, we also have some, some special breed predilected to atopic dermatitis. Family history. In Taiwan, it's very difficult to identify the pedigree. People can go to the pet shop and say, hey, I buy a poodle yesterday. And the pet shop owner doesn't remember. And he said, oh, is a male or female? And how old is the dog? And they will sign. And OK, pay me 150, 150 Taiwan dollar. You can get the, the certification maybe one week later. So the pedigree is fake. So it would be difficult to, to know the pedigree. So it's, it's nonsense to, to know the pedigree in Taiwan. So I take off. I take off this criteria. And the dog really in Taiwan, lot of Labrador retriever or golden retriever, they will onset the clinical signs after they go to the park or they go to the mountain and they will onset the clinical signs. So I still keep this criteria in my criteria. Rhinitis is very rare to find in my clinical case, so I take off. History of articarias and angioedema is really very rare to find in my cases I take off. Acrobic dermatitis, yes. The dog always leaking. So when I find a leaking dog, you must care for is the leaking signs will progress to scratching and some, some other clinical signs 
as the atopic dermatitis should reveal. Hyperhidrosis, yes. The dog always has much sweat than the normal dog. Lichenification on the fault of the hook and or the cranial surface of carpus. Yes, this always see in my cases. So I use this criteria to diagnose my cases. If the dog fix five criteria, I will say this dog should be atopic dermatitis. Okay, that's the definition how we diagnose atopic dermatitis. Is the IgE serum test available in here? No? Well, in Taiwan, recently, since two or three years ago, there's three companies they develop the IgE serum test. Even there has a local company, they develop a microarray method to test for the IgE. So they educate the, all the veterinarians say, if you, you think you, the dog is atopic dermatitis, you just test the IgE, then you will know the dog is atopic dermatitis or not. And all the panel in the IgE test, about half item is related with food, and that is nonsense. Because food allergy, we cannot diagnose food allergy according to the IgE test. Okay, so if there's a company they, they set up in India and they will educate people that, I think that is incorrect, incorrect. So today we know, we must know how to control the canine atopic dermatitis. I don't say cure because an allergic disease cannot cure. We only can control the lesions. And within the control protocol, we, we try to give the pet a better life quality. Try to give a better life quality to the pet owner, but we cannot control, uh, cannot cure. Well, that's why I like dermatology, because the, the crime will always come just for antihistamine, and they were happy because you can control the itching. We only control, but we know, we must know we, we need to control what? First of all, 